morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Courtney and I have two guest hosts here with me today, um, Karen and Courtney. So Karen works behind the scenes. You've probably seen her um, or talked to her a little bit on live events or even at the morning show. And then Courtney's also our morning show producer and so she's uh, came on to the morning show once before we brought her back. Um, and we want to talk about a topic that's really exciting particularly to these two and to myself um, and a lot of decorators and it's a lucrative market and it is selling to the pet industry. Um, and so it's one of those industries that kind of fall along the same lines as children's apparel where we don't always think about it. We're so geared towards our normal industries. We're talking about spirit wear, we're talking about sports wear, about team uniforms, schools, but we never think about how can we make money at other times of year to other industries. And the pet industry is one really great way to do that. Um, and so Courtney and Karen are going to talk a lot this morning about people that are doing it well, that have kind of found that niche market and different ways that you can think about how to implement that in your business, also where to source blanks and how to create mm -hmm. designs. And so we have a lot of exciting topics there. Um, and then I'm going to talk a lot about how to print those items, the different ways you can actually go out and start selling it when you get out of the morning show um, this morning or later this week. Um, and so if you guys want to head over to the table, before we do that, I want to talk about um, some industry news. We like to start the morning show a little bit with some different industry news, and one of those is Sanmar U. Um, they recently just launched Sanmar U, um, or education.sanmar.com. It's very similar to what you see here at the Stalls TV, um, but also a great resource when you're wanting to look at um, product education, decoration education. They do webinars specifically on different blank items. Um, they actually just featured one on the millennial market and um, alternative apparel. And so we wanted to show you guys this resource, um, something that I think you should also tune into and check out and just so you can stay up to date on what's going on in the blank apparel market today. So education.sanmar.com will take you over to that site. You can start to play around with some of the videos and style network resources that they've developed there. So that gives us some industry news to get started. Now, I don't want to share too much industry news this week because we have a jammed pack episode. Um, like I said, Courtney and Karen are going to kick us off, so we'll head over to them while they talk a little bit about people that are doing the pet industry well. Thanks, Courtney. Yeah, thank you, Courtney, for that introduction. So like she said, this is a very lucrative marketplace, um, even in the billions of dollars with um, the printed apparel industry, not just for pet owners, um, but for pets as well. Um, but to get started, uh, I think that intro was pretty perfect, if you ask me. And I'd like to talk about um, how pet owners are kind of like pet parents at this point. So do you right. want to talk a little bit about that? Sure, I'll talk about it. So pet parents is kind of the new term for pet owners. Um, within the last couple of decades, pets have become more like children to their owners. They're not just, you know, the animal in the house anymore. It's mm -hmm. their baby. It's their kids. So anytime you go into PetSmart or Petco, those shoppers are labeled as pet parents. They're buying clothes for their pets. They're buying them um, blankets, they're buying them fresh food. You buy pets food in yeah. the free, uh, refrigerator now. The, the humanization of pets has just been a growing field and these pets are now the child to a lot of their owners. Yeah, so just like the children's apparel marketplace, this is just another selling opportunity you can tack on to your business um, just as even add-on sales. Um, something just to consider when um, printing decorated apparel. So to get started, I'd like to talk about the pet parents just a little bit more. So selling to them, we have an interesting website called Pop Your Pup. So let's look at that now. So you can go to popyourpup.com. I just type that into your address bar. It'll take you to their main page and you'll enter their site. The easiest way to see what they do is to look at their lookbook. And here you can see on Pop Your Pup, what they do is they take one of your pictures of your pets and they kind of um, characterize your pet with a personalized background and they kind of memorialize your pet forever on this shirt. You can keep this. It's really a special thing for pet parents that absolutely love their pets. Yeah, definitely. This is um, something that as a photographer I feel like it has a lot of value. Um, just memorializing your pet in a photo is a great way to remember them as they you know, get those little white furs on their face and get older. This is something you can do. Um, maybe on a you know, milestone like a birthday or something like that. Um, so in addition to selling pet apparel for pet parents, um, I'd like to take a look at the second opportunity, which is selling apparel for pets themselves. So we have a few um, showcases here that we'd like to show you guys. The first one here is Redemption Dog. And Redemption Dog is a shop on Etsy. We'll show you their homepage here. You can kind of get a look at what they do. Um, here you can see there's a personal one, you can put your own message on there. But let's look at uh, one like this on this blank tank here. 
you can see the message. It's very minimalistic, a nice one color design, but it's very personal. This is not something that you would have seen on a dog, you know, maybe 20, 30 years ago, but this is a sibling, a child. This is something that you would see in all, almost all pet households today. They want something that they can put on their pet that nobody else is going to have. Absolutely, and like you said, this is um, super simple to print. It's a one color shirt and a one color design, and it looks as though this is cotton. So if you are already in the printed apparel business and you have a heat press and a vinyl cutter, this is something you can easily do with our CAD cut materials. Um, so the second website we'd like to take a look at is Love Baxter Bug. And Love Baxter Bugs is, is another um, shop on Etsy, which is obviously a really good place to sell for niche markets. So let's talk about them now. So Love Baxter Bug, they're kind of doing the same thing. They have a lot of these minimalistic designs on their shirts, but they start doing something different here and they add in the special effect materials. So you can get these really awesome finishes, like the glitter finish on this Hello hoodie for this little dog. Um, mm -hmm. These are designs that you would see in stores such as Justice for kids apparel. People want to buy these things for their dogs because like we've discussed probably 10 times already in this show, these dogs are their children. So you can get these really stylish looks now for your pet. Yeah, so um, going above just the, um, the typical photo, you can do um, a name, a tag, uh, something along those lines. So um, at these blank looks, we'd also like to show our viewers where they can source these. So we have two sources, um, the first being LAT Apparel. Right, so LAT Apparel, they have um, a whole brand called Doggy Skins that you can purchase. Uh, they carry the Doggy Tank and the Doggy Bandana. They're both really nice basics, and we'll take a look at the Doggy Tank here. It's 100% cotton, comes in all kinds of different sizes, all the way up to 3X if you have a really big dog, but you still want to you know, decorate a shirt for mm -hmm. them too. You don't want them to feel left out. Comes in a bunch of colors, and what's really nice is you can see it on the dog here. Right, so you can see it on the dog. Obviously, the best print area um, that you would print is the back, since that's what you'll see the most. But as you can see here, um, there are opportunities to print on the sleeves, or even on the front chest, um, since they're sitting like this. So the second um, blank apparel we'd like to show you is Baxter Boo. So. Baxter Boo has a lot of premium apparel for um, pets here, and as well as many other things like collars, leashes. Courtney, do you want to delve into the um, shirts a little bit here that you can purchase from Baxter Boo? Yeah, so um, just getting like the premium looks here. Uh, you can do jog jackets, dog polos, sweaters, tank tops, dresses, anything you can really think of that you could put on a child. You can now put on a dog, so this gives you um, an upsell, a premium look that you can sell for more than just the standard doggy shirts um, and still source it from a low price. So that was Baxter Boo. Gives you an idea of what you can buy for your babies now. So while we were gone, we picked up a little model and she's wearing a shirt that we've actually designed here to show you. But before that, Courtney has some things she'd like to talk to you about regarding the pet, pet apparel. Yeah, so before we get into her look, um, I'd like to show you uh, a few other resources that you can source these items from um, if you're trying to decorate into this market. So the first being American Pet Productions Manufacturers Association, and they're just an excellent source for finding companies that um, manufacture the products that you would need, such as the dog shirts. Um, so you can just type in the information there. And another is a global pet expo that happens once or twice a year in major cities. Um, so it is called Super Zoo, and it has anything from pet merchandise, pet apparel, um, toys, anything you can really think of to find for your pet, you can find at this um, super zoo. So go online and look for that. Um, you can find the dates and they come to um, major cities. So do you want to talk about this look on Little Peach here? Sure, let's get into the things that we have decorated here. And I'll start with what I have on Peaches here. This is my, my little baby. So we decided to bring her in. Let me get a good image here of what she's wearing. She has on a little pink and white polka dot dress. And what we did was personalized it with a name, not her name, unfortunately, but it has this really nice foil finish that we used um, with silver foil in our CAD cut adhesive. And with interchangeable platens and a hot Toronics heat press, this was done in minutes. Right, and so in addition to this look here, I'd like to show you a few other designs that we have decorated. So while her shirt is not peaches, um, this color is. So we have this decorated in um, fashion film as well as glitter flake to give it a nice special effect to finish. You can see it there shining on the screen. Um, another look we have here is, um, as far as collars go, is this um, personalized Baxter. So this is 
printed in 3M Reflective. And Reflective is a really good choice um, for colors such as this because it's a high visibility rate. So if you are um, walking your dog at night or heaven forbid they get out, um, they have a visibility with this 3M. And adding that to um, a, a leash like this you know, gives you a completed look. So you can have your num name and number on there so people could find you, you know, just in case that happens. We love our pets. We want to keep them safe. Absolutely. And last we have here decorated is this Butt First Corgis design. This was created in CadWorks Live. Um, and talk about how simple this was to create. This design was actually one of the most simple designs that I've ever created and it comes out with this amazingly cute look. So all I did was go into cadworkslive.com into their designer where I was able to import. We had stock images of this corgi. You can find them either through CadWorks or you can source them from other graphic um, mm -hmm. shops online. But we imported this little corgi, vectorized it, and um, just basic text over top of it and to print the actual hoodie itself was very simple. We used the um, seven inch round pr um, platen and fast tacked the white background layer, the corgi, um, for two seconds, peeled that, put the foreground layer on the black text and peeled that in it might have taken five minutes from start to finish for that entire design. And right, while this is a corgi, um, this could easily be any sort of other animal such as a chihuahua. Like a chihuahua. Um, even, you can even go into cats here. Obviously this is a little bit big for one, but if you did want to decorate for um, cats as well, you can find um, clip art like that either online or through um, a vectorizing company. So with this apparel, we'd like to throw it over to Courtney Kabitza where she'll be showing us how to print a very special look. Thanks, Courtney and Karen. So that was um, a cool way to look at what's going on right now in the pet industry. And so a lot of you guys are probably sitting here thinking, um, wow, there's really whole businesses that are designed to personalizing for pets, and there absolutely are. Um, in fact, there's 65% of U.S. households currently own at least one pet. So that's almost 80 million people that you can be selling to with um, pet apparel and pet owner apparel. And so it gives you two different opportunities there. And so I want to talk a little bit about how we start to sell those items to those customers and also how to personalize some of the things that Courtney and Karen had shared with you guys. Um, to start, I am going to do a personalized design on um, a more difficult item to print, which is kind of a tutu dress. And so the cool thing with pet apparel is a lot of the times it transcends what we see in children's apparel. And so we're seeing still a lot of the bows and the frill. And so we need to get rid of that when we line it over to the heat press. This is where interchangeable platens like the 6x10 that I have loaded on here are crucial for being able to print these items successfully. Because now I can split these items open, completely thread it on, and I can pull it down so that the um, bow and the tutu are all off of the press and I'm able to get a nice flat print area on this item. And of course the interchangeable platen sizes um, change depending on what market that you're selling to. Um, this is actually a small um, tank top that's been being personalized, so you're already seeing the 6x10 fits that pretty perfect. I'll start by preheating my item to get some of the moisture and wrinkles out. And then I'm going to line up my design. And so one thing um, I noticed particularly about a lot of the customers that Courtney and Karen had shared with us was that they all found their niche and they did it very well. And so with that, um, we're going to look at different ways to personalize. This would be a great example of one opportunity that you can do well. This just says Dog Bless, Amer Bless America. Um, it has a two-color glitter design. So what I did is I actually trimmed that paw print up to fit directly into my design. And then I can heat press them all together. And so being able to put cute um, sayings or different um, images on the background of this apparel and products like Cad Cut Glitter Flake is one opportunity. Um, if you want to choose to do special effects like you saw with the um, one design that they or the one customer they had shown on Etsy, that's one way to make your business particularly stand out um, and make them just a little bit more different maybe by offering these high-end finishes or special effects to make your design a little bit more unique. And so that's one opportunity for personalizing for these markets. Um, and then also we're going to take a look at another opportunity which is one of the ones that Courtney and Karen also shared with you guys. And that was personalizing the leash for a market. So I'm going to switch back from this 6x10. You may have noticed when Courtney showed you the leash that the print on there is a bit larger than what that 6x10 is going to allow. So I'm going to switch over to a 16x20. Load that in there. And this graphic I'm putting on the leash is particularly about 18 inches wide. So to print this all in one hit, what I've done is I'm going to put it from corner to corner on this plat and getting a nice flat print area. 
and I can just line up my product here. So for this one, I'm particularly using um, CAD Cut Fashion Film. Now I can avoid the preheat here since you're not likely to be laundering um, this item as I line it up. But one other thing I want to mention is you're noticing who I'm personalizing this from so, for. So um, so far you saw an opportunity for us to personalize for a different market like a um, a person or something like that. Let me get this lined up here pretty quick closely. Perfect. All right, so once we have that lined up there, we can press it down. Now, being able to personalize for a um, animal hospital or a vet's um, location is a different market that you may not be thinking about. I'm going to press fashion film at 15 seconds. But for me, I see this being an opportunity for personalizing not only for the names that are on somebody's leash, so if their dog gets lost, but being able to go to a local vet's office or local groomers and offering to personalize leashes or collars for them to give to their customers to help get some more brand awareness. We offer and sell an awful lot of promotional products and so this one um, fits perfectly with a lot of industries just like as if you would personalize an umbrella for a car dealership to give out to their customers. This would be another opportunity for us to do similar types of promotional product items to vets offices and so this gives us two different opportunities for personalizing. Obviously, doing a leash um, is one opportunity, the outfit, but how we start to sell these items or really start to um, take how we show our products and bring brand awareness to the um, opportunity that we're selling here. And so one opportunity, of course, is having retail designs as well as wholesale designs like we showed. To me, the Dog Bless America is a great wholesale design. If you're selling these online or in your retail shop or just to a, uh, maybe a larger group like a groomer to sell with their customers and being able to add that onto um, what they're offering in the grooming services. There's those opportunities and then also being able to sell um, directly to the groomers or the vet's office. And so the leash was a great opportunity for the vet's office. Another opportunity I see for groomers is the um, ability to personalize bandanas. So if you've ever taken your dog to the um, groomer, you've probably seen a bandana being put on at the end. Being able to offer those customers a way to put their branding on it so they can sell it to their, or give it to their customers and make them remember where they got their grooming job done or their friend can see that if they come over. That's another promotional product opportunity. In addition to that, more opportunity for brand awareness I see are being able to use those vets and groomers to being able to sell to their customers. So if you can hand out business cards or flyers, those are great ways to bring um, some awareness to what your brand's offering as far as pet apparel. Also being able to sell it online or through social media to bring more awareness and pet trade shows. So Courtney talked a little bit about some pet trade, pet trade shows that are global, but there's even a lot of local pet trade shows that happen um, in local areas. And that gives you an opportunity to, of course, sell to the people at the pet trade show or pair up with other exhibitors there. So if somebody's offering a pet, a pet apparel line, you can offer to do the printing for them and the manufacturing. And so there's already a start to being a pretty big a lucrative opportunity. You can bring more brand awareness through events and fundraising, which is something we're going to talk um, particularly about a little bit more next week, and just the opportunity with being able to leverage um, kind of community awareness, being able to be what they call a company with conscious. So if you have a, um, a organization in your area that maybe does events, maybe an ASPCA or something like that, where you can kind of pair with them and show um, where you're going to the um, shelters and helping them maybe pairing your brand with that if you want to become a leader in the pet industry. Um, and so that gives you some ideas for selling the market. Of course, there's always a lot of information with a make it your market type segment. The cool thing is there's a lot of different ways to sell to this industry um, and a lot of different ways depending on who your customer are or is to kind of do this. And so I'll bring everybody else over um, to join me and we'll talk a little bit and take some questions here um, from our viewing audience. And so <laughs> it looks like we've expanded our crew a little bit here at the Stall TV Morning Show. So we have a couple um, puppies that have come to join us. Of course, there's no better way to show the apparel we've printed here than to show live models. So if you have animals, we asked that in the beginning of the session. Um, I think about half of you guys do. You can always use them for some free modeling um, when you want to take pictures to show customers what you offer. Joe, did we have any questions come in during the morning show this morning? Yes, their question is, are all the heat transfer materials suitable for pets? And would that include like express print? That's a great question. So the cool thing, or the good thing, I guess, about a lot of the Stalls products is they're CPSIA certified. So if they're safe for children's apparel, they would be safe for, um, for a uh, animal to wear, just in case they chewed it or something like that or got it off. Um, and so Fashion Film, Glitter Flake, those products that we've shown, the express print that you had asked about, all those are going to be safe for children's apparel. And the express print may be a great option for being able to take those full color prints 
um, like we had seen with the pop your pup designs. Question on the, the leashes, uh, since most leashes and collars are made of nylon, any special instructions? Yeah, I would obviously check mm -hmm. and make sure um, you're using a product that fits to the fabric. If you're going to be having a nylon collar or a nylon um, leash, then I would recommend looking at either CADCUT Gorilla Grip or Thermo Grip for those products because they have a nylon adhesive. What is the price point on the personalization of a collar? The personalization of a collar it really varies depending on the market. Um, I've seen anywhere from um, $15 to $25 as far as personalization goes. And they'd also like to know, uh, you've brought in a couple of small dogs, are there clothing available for Great Danes or Rottweilers? Absolutely. Right. So just like LAT Apparel had shown that. Yeah, up they to had 3X. The, the, uh, yeah, up to 3X size. So you have everything from little doggies um, all the way up to Great Danes. Great. So yeah, it looks like a lot of you guys are excited to drive into this market. Like I said, there's a huge opportunity, not only in small dogs like we have here at the morning show this morning, but larger animals, cats. Um, and really, as you can start to expand your pet industry, there's a lot of pets. Um, so there's a great opportunity there to start diving in and just looking for new ways to bring in revenue, which are some things we like to show you. Um, and so next week, like I said, we're going to talk a lot about fundraising and being able to um, bring in new revenue through that type of stream. And so we appreciate you guys, all of you, coming on today <laughs> to join us here for the morning show. And we'll see you next week. See you next week.